What, what about the Florida defense? What are they, how do they impress you? Uh, really good up front. Their front four and the depth there. Uh, they, uh, you know, they're really stout at linebacker. Got a great secondary. It's going to be a great challenge for us. Uh, they do a really good job. You were able to get the ball to Sahim in space. How do you create more of those opportunities where you can make plays in open field? Same thing. He'll get some more touches, though, in, in, in regular uh, situations. You know, we had two coming outs, and uh, I put Benny in because coming out, you know, you want that those hard yards uh, right there. But there was a couple series that uh, I should have put him in, and I told him that. And, and Benny, you know, I think for the next, you know, the remainder of the season, 70 snaps a game is, is, is too much. So you'll see Cy more, whether we create something for him or he's just going to get him on normal touches. Obviously, you're a complimentary of Florida's defense, but they're, you know, they allow almost 200 yards on the ground. What do you perceive as a weakness they can really take advantage of this week? Well, you know what? I, in this league, I, I don't see a lot of, I mean, the, the weaknesses. Uh, we're going to have to create some stuff to, to get some yards, uh, whether that be formationally uh, or just coming off and whipping somebody's tail, you know? This is an SEC game, uh, you know. I look at it last year, and it wasn't so hot. Right. And uh, so, you know, it, it's about execution. Uh, you know, we talked about it last week, make simple better. And, uh, you know, the cliche, it's always about us. And uh, you're going to have to finish. We're going to have to compete. And we're doing that right now. We're playing at a high level, meaning our intensity. We're giving effort. And uh, when you do that, you have a chance. When you looked at, you, you mentioned after the game about execution on third downs, but when you went back and looked at it on video, was there any theme in those third downs where you were so successful? You know what? It, 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 in, on offense, all 11 guys have to do the right thing. We had a chance to, to actually be, you know, incredible 12 out of 16, you know, if we would have executed right. Uh, you got to have 11 guys doing the right things, and on those nine, we did. Uh, and then, when we didn't, then now you got to have some playmakers. You know, a couple times, one time, Steven, you know, he stood in there and he's just getting ready to get whacked, and uh, uh, he made a great throw to Saeed. Uh, he got open, and you know, it all worked out well. You know, sometimes then, you know, you run that again, and Saeed doesn't get open, and he has to hold it a, a half a second later, and it's a sack. You know, so uh, you, you know, you got to make plays. It's 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 our money down. And, and third down is so critical. You know that allowed us to have 16 play drive and a 13 play drive back to back. Eddie, it's not your side of the ball, but you've gone against it all camp. Why do you think the run defense is so much better this year? You know, I, I think it's just the, the maturity. You know, I mean, you had guys last year that didn't play a lot of football. They got one more year into the belt, and, and they're doing a great job. You know, I, I really do. It was, it was harder this this uh, camp to run against our defense. And, and so that's a good thing, you know, hopefully they're saying the same thing about us. Uh, as you grow and, and now you've been in the same system for a couple of years, you hope those guys mature and, and they get better. As a play caller, when they're playing that way on that side, what does it allow you to do? You know, I mean, the great thing about Mark is that Mark never handcuffs me. I mean, he, he's always talking on the phone and, 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 and he's talking about let it eat, do, do what you guys are doing. And, and uh, you know, we're going to do what we do. Uh, I think that, you know, in some of those games where, you know, like in the first game, I got a little bit stubborn and, 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 and because I knew where we were and, and you know, um, I, I just believe that you kind of get a feel for that as a play caller, that uh, when the game is in control with the defense, then you got to be smart, but you still got to get first downs. And I think that's what we did in this game. We didn't put, let the foot off the pedal, you know what I mean? We, we kept trying to take chances and threw on first down, and, and that really helped us. Eddie, how many plays, or do you do any scripting to start out? Yes, yes, we do. Every game, or is it every different? every game? Every game, we're fifteen gonna, or twenty. Yeah, it's, that's about right. Fifteen to twenty plays, and uh, you know, a, a lot of the times it's, it's maybe giving them different formations, uh, maybe that they haven't seen, uh, maybe different personnel uh, groupings, uh, and, and in that way, as we're charting upstairs, we can find out uh, how they're lining up to certain things. Do you do that for both halves, or just the first half? First half, but then we have somebody charting and. and see what went well and then we have stuff for the second half that we didn't show that we, we always have prepared. Mark said the receivers were very unselfish. What's the best point that you kind of credit for that amount of time? You know, I, right now, you know, Juice was our player of the game and, and he made three big plays on third down, but he's playing unbelievably, uh, like Coach said, unselfish. He's down, he's, he's digging out guys, he's blocking his tail off and 
Um, I think they bought in to, to what we do, and you know, we I think we had nine different receivers catch the ball, and, and that's this offense. You know, some guys are going to get more some days, some not the next. And, and, and the bottom line of this game is it's not statistics; it's all about winning. Do you need a third running back to emerge here soon? <clears throat> I would imagine in this long season you would, and so uh, you know we're, we're still looking for that, and we're still uh, uh, getting better every day. You know. AJ had a good practice today. Uh, Brian Kobach is coming on strong. Hey, did, did you see start to see signs of the offensive line starting to jail on Saturday? Yeah, we kept uh, the, some of the same group in there a lot. But, you know, Mason Wolf got in there on two long drives, and, and that was huge for us. You know, it was kind of what happened last year as we moved guys in there. Uh, we, we found out that a couple guys could get us 30 snaps, you know, and he had 52. That was huge. That was his first real big game in the SEC. So, uh, that was encouraging.